Hello everyone, I just got out of the movies, as you can see, the theater's right behind me, I love this theater, they play a lot of documentaries, art, uh, independent films, and foreign language movies, and I saw a foreign language film today from Argentina, it's a film that was nominated at the Oscars this year for Best Foreign Language Movie, from the country of Argentina, and the movie is called Wild Tales. I've been excited and interested to see this movie for a while, a few subscribers uh, really want to know my feelings about the movie. And I didn't know much about this film going in. I just knew what the title was. I didn't know that actually it's an anthology of six individual movies that are all written and directed by the same person. But it's an entire movie. I mean, it's, it's a two-hour film. But in that two-hour film, we get to have these six stories. So what I'm going to do in this review is give you my opinions of the six individual films. And then at the end, tell you how I feel about the movie on a whole. All right, so the first story, well, I will tell you that all these stories deal with people at their worst moments of their life. Okay, so the first story deals with a group of people on a flight to, I can't remember where they're going, but with the, you know, friendly conversations that sometimes we have on plane trips and find out, oh, where are you from? Where are you going? What do you do? Blah, blah, blah. And as these people start talking, they all find out that they kind of know this same person and not for really good reasons i'm not going to tell you where this flight goes but this is all this is the first uh, story that happens even before the credits start so we get this story before the credits start and I, I i hate to admit this right now i really i do but uh f this was probably my favorite aspect of the entire film uh, i i'll get into how i feel about the other shorts but i really like the setup i like how at first it felt like, no, what? Oh my gosh, really? Wow, I can't believe this, that's awesome. That's how it was, that's all the my, uh, things, all the ideas that were going, uh, the thoughts that were going in my in my mind during that first initial shorts. Then we get into the, tr the, 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 uh, uh, the credits, and I, I, I was, th uh, during the credits, which were really unique, I was thinking about that first initial short. I just was thinking about it. I was like, that was hilarious and dark and just off the wall insane. And I would almost like to see a whole movie on that subject. And then the next story, we get to see uh, this waitress. She's working at a diner and she noticed this person that comes in that she's about to serve. And he, this guy, has done some major terrible things to her family in the past. He's like a gangster that she recognized. And Let's just say her whole life is ruined because of this one man. She tells one of her co-workers, probably the owner of the diner, and the diner, uh, the owner of the diner suggests, hey, maybe we should kill him. And uh, some crazy stuff ensues and stuff like that. I don't want to really spoil anything after that. I really, I really like that one. And there were some really violent surprises in that one. And it was just, it was like, oh my gosh, wow. <laughs> Oh my god! Uh, just so clever, just so clever. Uh, the next one deals with uh, these two drivers on the road. One's uh, one guy looks like he has his life together, and he's on his way to probably do a business meeting of some kind. And he's trying to pass this guy that looks like he's probably lower on the totem pole. And this he's trying to pass. I mean, the rich guy's trying to pass the poor guy, and he won't let him pass. So he kind of cuts off the poor guy, gives him the finger, and tells him he's horrible. And then as the, you know, miles down the road, the rich guy, his tire pops for some reason. And he's on the road, I mean, he has to get off the road and call AAA probably or something, something in Argentina. And, and slowly, a few hours pass, and that guy who was behind him at one time, finally passes him up and wants his revenge for this guy calling him some not nice things. And what happens after that is just, I don't know, just, it was, ah, it just was like, oh my gosh, how more violent can this movie get? And just how more, ah, uh, uh, just the, the, the dynamic between these two individuals, uh, were very funny at times and shocking and then what it leads up to and I, I don't want to spoil anything in this review but let's just say uh, it was definitely an interesting ride. Uh, the next one deals with a guy that for a living he blows up buildings and 
he's on his way out after doing his job he's on his way to his daughter's birthday party and he's gonna buy her a cake so he parks the car and in the process his car gets towed and he tries to fight it because he said well uh, I was not parked in a, in a no parking zone so he has to try and fight it and other things ensue uh, he starts his life starts to crumble after uh, certain other things as he's trying to fight this case and in the process he might not be he not he might not uh, he might lose his wife and the chance to be a father just because there might be a possibility of a divorce and all these things are happening and and what he does uh, uh, to try and justify what's happened to him you know it's 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 very clever it's very funny and I, I like this one I thought this one was really good and I kind of like where it goes it's not as to me it wasn't as dark as some of the other ones but it was uh, a, a likable story and very frustrating at the same time because we can all probably deal with that of like parking somewhere and know that we parked in the right spot and we're getting towed and we have to, then we pay all these major fees and we have to fight it a lot of stuff going on. In uh, the fifth short, uh, a, a rich family is woken up one day, one in the middle of the night, and their son has just gotten home. And he says he hit somebody, and he pretty much took off. Turns out that person is a pregnant woman with an unborn child, and the pregnant woman and the unborn child pass away. So the parents are trying to figure out, oh, how can we, um, how can we, you know get away with this how can we because uh, if our son goes to jail and we have to you know our lives are ruined if they really truly find out what happens so they hire their gardener uh, through their lawyers and through the prosecutor all these things kind of come together they hire their gardener to kind of take the place of their son and then there's all this um, talk about money and who's gonna get paid much and the son kind of wants to eventually confess but the gardener wants more money the lawyer wants more his lawyer his defense lawyer wants more money and the prosecutor wants more money and there's this whole it, it turns out that just more about money than than anything else in this and I, I really liked how this one ended uh, this ended on a big shock and I didn't see it coming and it left me as the sixth one was starting, I was still thinking about the fifth one. It was definitely probably my second favorite out of the shorts. And then the final one deals with the wedding from hell. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't want to say where this actually goes uh, to spoil anything. But this is young couple. They're happy. They're having this great wedding. They have their friends and their family there. And... As the wedding, I mean, as the uh, reception, of course, we didn't we didn't see the way the wedding happens. We see the reception, and as the reception's happening, the the wife notices that her husband seems to be really friendly with a girl that actually is uh, one of the invites to the wedding, and she just notices some, and she she kind of does the math and finds out that he's cheating on her. And where it goes from there, I don't want to say. You have to see it to believe it. Uh, it's probably one of the most outrageous weddings ever portrayed on film. And definitely was a great way to end this movie. And that's all I'm going to say about the six shorts. How about the movie on a whole? Well, I love films like this. We don't get a lot of movies like this where we have a movie where it has different stories and sometimes they connect, sometimes they don't. Uh, in, this, in this feeling, maybe they only connected on the subject matter, the fact that these people are, are dealing with the worst parts of their life, and we're getting to see that on the screen. I didn't see that any of these stories connected with uh, other actors or actresses, and that's probably my major complaint about this film, and why I don't think it is one of the best films ever made. I do think it's great. I had a lot of fun watching it. There's some moments where I was laughing. Uh, there were some moments where I was on the edge of my seat. There were moments where I reacted. I was like, oh my God, whoa, what? I can't, what? what, wait, wait, no, no. So there's a lot of moments like that in the film. Uh, there was never really any moment where I, I, I wanted to break down and cry or get too emotional. I wish there was a moment like that, something profound and interesting, but Overall, uh, I, I really enjoyed this movie. I think my only real complaint and knocks my grade down just a little bit is the fact that I wish somehow, and maybe there is and I missed it, but I didn't see it. 
how these stories are maybe connected to one another like by a, by a certain people that maybe are they're in the background or something. I would have liked that if the stories were connected in a way that kind of brought these 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 uh, these ideas all together. I just I wish there was more of like an interesting connection. Maybe someone from short five is in short one or someone who maybe caused short one happen in short six and maybe that's the case I maybe I missed it I don't know but for me that was the only lacking part of the whole movie again I would like to see more movies like this I like you know even the horror in the horror genre they did a lot of these in the 80s and 90s where they told little vignettes and some of them were exciting some maybe weren't but then you always went away feeling like you had had an experience. And with this one, it was definitely an amazing experience. Not a perfect experience. And again, I will say I'm glad that Ida won for best foreign language movie, but I would probably, even out of the four now that I've seen out of the five films nominated for foreign language movie, this is probably my third favorite. Ida's the first one, and then and then Wild Tales, and then Timbuktu, and then Timbuktu, and oh wait, whatever. And then Leviathan. But I haven't seen the other film that's nominated for Best Foreign Language Movie. Anyways, this review is going on long. Hopefully you understand because there was just a lot to talk about with this movie. In the comment box below. Well, I'll tell you what I... Well, yeah. In the comment box below, have you seen Wild Tales? Did you enjoy it? What was your favorite short out of the six films? What did you think about the movie? Did you like it? Did you not? In the comment box below, let me know. And I am going to give this really unique, amazing, funny, dark, twisted experience, Wild Tales. I'm going to give the film a solid three and a half stars out of four. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I am Movie Man Chad. Please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. I'm also on Twitter and I'm on Facebook. And please go to WeLiveFilm.com and subscribe right here on YouTube to We Live Film. Also go to Long Beach Acting and Film Association right here on Facebook and Twitter. Please also go to MoviePile.com. And if you enjoyed this video movie review, please click right here, subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. In the meantime, have a great day, a wonderful night, and a wonderful life, and I'll talk to you at my next movie review. Bye, everyone. Peace be with you, my friends.